What up everybody, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing. And today we're gonna to talk about the process of progression. Something I think is a very important point that sometimes people miss, and that's the plan. So what do I wanna say about the process of progression as it relates to, I guess, creatives? Well, to begin with, uh, it really is about just building off of what you can do and continuously adding on to the plate. I think this clip right here with Will Ferrell. Can someone please throw me a fifth ball? If you dare. Incoming and wrong. I think that point kind of talks about it, right? Like keep that same pace and rhythm. And that's kind of the point of like when people talk about like not competing with anyone else, but competing with yourself. That is probably one of the realest things you will hear because the reality of it is if you try to outdo yourself, enough times there comes a point where you've grown exponentially and people can't even fathom when you started kind of like skateboarding like we all start with an ollie and right after the ollie our mind starts saying can i ollie onto the curve can i ollie off the curve and after that you think well let me do a kickflip can i do a kickflip backwards and it's pretty much a slow progression of right but don't try to ollie and then do a tray flip that doesn't work. But that's the point of like, every time you learn a new trick, it's like a new tool in your tool set and you just then go on to the next tool set, right? And, and so you continuously are adding on to what you can do. And it's the same thing with filmmaking, with, with making zines and things like that. Like I am continuously trying to do uh, a newer thing. I'm always trying to be at the edge of my comfort zone. You wanna be in between your comfort zone, right? What you know how to do, and and your your uh, danger zone what you know for a fact you can't do and you want to be somewhere in the middle of that and by being in the middle of that what ends up happening is that you are using what you know how to do to basically learn how to do this other thing and that's kind of the process i think of progression of like continuously stretching yourself out just a little further and if you do that once again long enough Right, going back to the idea of like it's a habit, it's a process, it's not overnight. You don't go from an ollie to a fucking tray flip, it doesn't work that way. But if you do it long enough, before you know it, you're doing tray flips, but you're doing tray flips now off of six stairs. So that's where you want to be in the middle between your comfort zone and the danger zone. You're in the danger zone, and if you keep yourself there, what you see is that your, your comfort zone begins to push this way and your danger zone pushes that way and then you surpass it and then you're on a new spectrum. And that's the point of continuously looking at your spectrum of what you can do versus what you need to learn to do or the trajectory that you want to go on and then just keep pushing yourself that way. And it's important to understand that point of like not competing with other people. Story time, right? This is a story time. For a long time, I stopped drawing. I stopped trying to doodle comics. I said, you know what? In, in the end, best case scenario, I might be able to write comics. Because the idea was, I grew up during an era with like Jim Lee and, and Stephen Hughes and like artists that I really looked up to, like Tim Vigil. When you look at that, right? And you look at like heavy metal magazines, things like that, you know, you're doing this very simple, basic cartooning. In your mind, you get discouraged. You say, well, I'm never going to be as good as that person. But the reality is like, you're not trying to be as good as that person. You're not trying to outdo that person. You're trying to outdo yourself. And, and it's one of my great regrets of like, had I stuck to art and drawn and not been discouraged by looking at what other people were doing, I think I would have been further along than I am now. But that's the point. Like I've realized that as I start to do the work and as I progress and push myself out of my comfort zone into the danger zone, I'm getting better at everything that I want to get better at. But like if you were to see some of the first zines that I started publishing to now, like you would see the progression. But if I didn't go through this, going back to the idea of like, how do you get better? You, you put in 5,000 hours into anything, but guess what? Those first couple hours, probably gonna be garbage, right? But as you put in the time and effort, you will get to that 5,000 hour mark where now you kind of have a grapple on what the fuck you're doing. So that's all I want to mention today, man, that process of progression. It's important. Stop competing with other people. Compete with yourself. If you outdo yourself long enough, you're going to be where you want to be, you guys. All right, man. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.